Hello there. My name is Chan Suwasfan Msipa. In this presentation, uh, we are continuing with our functions of complex variable. And uh, in this case, we want to discuss an example of what we discussed previously, which are Cauchy Riemann equations. Okay, let's say you are given the following question. This is going to be an example. Let's show that f of z, which is equal to z squared plus z plus 2, satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equations and hence determine the complex derivative f prime of z. Now, to give a solution to this uh, problem, we need to know that uh, to such a problem, we need to bring our knowledge of uh, Cauchy Riemann equations. So, recalling Cauchy Riemann equations is actually our initial step, which is number here zero. So, Cauchy Riemann equations says that if a function like given is analytic, then it satisfies the following equation delta u delta x is equal to delta v delta y and delta u delta y is equal to minus delta v delta x. Now, as you can see now, these question one equations were stated this way because we know that the structure of f of z Actually, f of z is a function of two variables. This way, f of z can be expressed as a function of two variables. They say f of x, y equals to u x, y plus imaginary unit terms v of x, y. Now, since the Cauchy Riemann equations come in terms of u and the v functions of two variables. It means then that in our next step, we need to express this given function in this form in terms of u and the v functions of two variables. So we state here fz equals to f of x, y equals to, in this case now, we'll have got to express this uh, f, of, f of z in terms of x, y, recalling that z is actually x equals to x plus imaginary unit times y. So, substituting z by its rectangular form, we're going to have x plus i, y, squared plus x plus i y plus 2. Having expressed this function this way, we now need to simplify until we've got the function in rectangular form in terms of u and v. And this term we've already seen that it simplifies to x squared minus y squared plus 2xy multiplied by the imaginary unit and plus x plus i y plus 2. Now we need to collect all the parts of this expression which have no i and that will constitute our u that then we have x squared plus x minus y squared plus 2 plus um, imaginary unit multiplied by 2 xy plus y 
and then at this point we can now identify and uh, give clearly as part of our solution the expression for u which in this case is x squared plus x minus y squared plus 2 coming from there and our v is um, v of x y equals to 2 x y plus uh, y now having identified uh, our u of x y and the v of x y we then need to proceed to testing whether the function satisfies the Cauchy-Riemann equations in this case this number this step number three so here let's differentiate u with respect to x remember we're not differentiating partially I mentioned this because this is the first example when you are differentiating partially with respect to x all the part of the, fun the function which does not depend on x is considered to be a constant and then we need to recall from uh, our previous uh, differentiation that the derivative of constant is equal to zero so in this case we can identify y squared as a constant and the 2 is a constant because it don't depend on x so what you have here, you're going to have 2x plus 1 plus 0 as a derivative of y squared plus 0 as a derivative of 2. And now div delta v, delta x, delta v, delta x will be, in this case, this is a constant again, we're going to have uh, and in this position of got y as a constant which you can take as 2 times 3 times x which is 6x and the derivative of 6x will be 6 in this case here our derivative will be just 2y now coming to the partial, partial derivative of 2y delta u delta y will give us 0 there zero there because that those are the constant now when looking at the function as a function of y minus two y applying the, the power rule that we did previously plus zero then delta v delta y would be now two x is a coefficient of y so differentiating that we're going to get this derivative in 2x plus 1. Now once we've done this, we can now compare the derivative according to the Koch Riemann equations. What you can clearly see is that delta u delta x is equal to delta v delta y both equals to 2x plus 1 as you can see here and there and on the other hand we have delta delta u delta y equals to with delta delta u delta y equals to minus 2y in this case delta v delta x is 2y so this is equal to minus delta v delta x so we have that this function given satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equations. So what you need now to do is to now 
come up with the derivative according to how it was defined in the theorem. So it was stated that fz is equal fz f prime of z is equal to delta u delta x plus imaginary unity multiplied by delta v delta x. I repeat here that this tells us that we can get the derivative with respect to z just using only the partial derivative due to x or we can use the partial derivatives with respect to y. In this case, we'll be using partial derivatives. This uh, recall upon to the equality delta u delta x is equal to delta v delta y. So we've got the delta v delta y plus now delta plus this plus i here. But delta v delta x is actually equals to minus delta u. So it will be minus delta u delta y. So the, the, this derivative respect to z comes either in terms of the, um, partial derivative respect to x or partial derivative respect to y. But you must remember that in this case here, we will come up with ne um, we put a negative sign there. Then this simplifies to delta v delta y minus i delta u delta y. So now assembling this comp uh, this derivatives here, we get delta u delta x being two x plus one plus imaginary unity multiplied by delta v delta x and we have delta v delta x being equal to 2 y so we write here 2 y now once we've written derivative this way this is our initial step for writing derivative we must Remember, we must always give the final derivative in terms of z because this is f prime f prime of z. So we reorganize this expression as 2x plus 2y times the imaginary unity plus 1. Hoping that, recalling that z is equal to x plus i y you can see here that you put x plus i y multiplied by 2 which you can then write as 2 x plus i y plus um, 1 which simplifies to 2 z plus uh, 1 and this will be our f z prime now, at this point, I would like to discuss with you, just recall, uh, compare this with what we, we had before with functions of one variable. The function we're given here was fz equals to z squared plus z plus 1. I want to parallel this with a function with a similar structure, function of real variables, which is f of x equals to x squared plus x plus 1. We all know that this differentiated to f prime of x equals to 2x plus 1, which has got the same structure like what we've got in terms of z. In this case, we are saying that fz prime is equal to 2z plus 1. 
So as it appears here, it looks as if we applied the usual power rule for differentiation or we apply the rule the usual rules for differentiation of functions of for one variable real variable x. But in this course we're not going to allow you to compute derivatives in this way but this can serve as a tool to double check your your results where they are, they are correct but also this is passing another message that if the function is analytic actually all the rules and the algebra of uh, differentiation is still valid for functions of uh, complex variables now what is left for you is to go over this exercise again and see what is taking place and then go on practicing and until you make sure or until you show of what you're supposed to do in such kind of exercises. Otherwise, thank you for listening. Meet you in the future discussions.